world enters 2023, nations like the US will have to deal with a number of issues on the foreign policy front. In December, the Taliban banned female students from all universities, while in Europe, the war in Ukraine continues. So what do these issues mean for the US and its ally, Australia? Joining us now live is political analyst and professor at Curtin University, Joe Siracusa. Professor, good morning. Good to see you. Let's start with the issue going on uh, with the Taliban. What sort of a response could we see from the US here, if any? Good morning, Danica. Well, there should be a very severe response. When the United States left Afghanistan, uh, it was hoping that all the reforms that it put in place for women and girls at, uh, at, at, for education, and they'd entered the workforce, and they'd become lawyers and policemen and uh, police uh, women and all the rest of it. Uh, it. That's all by the board now. The, the Taliban has uh, reinstituted their old rules. Uh, uh, women have been restricted. They're at home now. And education will probably be banned. And, and the United States is going to have to show some uh, some initiative here and, and making good its claim that uh, 20 years of U.S. investment in, in, in uh, Afghanistan was worth something. It was nation building. It was building up the role of the minorities there and the, and the women and the rest of it. So uh, I think uh, uh, Biden is going to have to show something there, particularly after the debacle of the departure there. Now, the, the other thing is, uh, and I, it's very important, you know, when, when presidents and leaders make decisions, uh, things uh, things happen for a year, to, you know, and things have to happen the next year or, or things get worse. So we are in a proxy war with Russia, which uh, threatens to become a real war uh, without much effort. And that is uh, all you have to do is Russia just has to cross into one of the NATO countries and the United States is committed to that. And Australia is committed to the United States. So. That's pretty much that story. So uh, Biden's uh, number one job is, I think, is to um, restrict um, the conflict with with uh, Russia to try to uh, get to everybody to the negotiation table. No one's going to like it, but they're going to have to go there anyway. He's going to have to do something with the Iranians, who are about, uh, Danica, about one week away from producing fissile material to make a nuclear weapon. And the Israelis are not going to stand for that. And the North Koreans are making... Uh, more warheads, and they're they're spending more time on their their missiles and rockets. And what are they going to do with that? Well, they're going to do plenty if we don't do anything, because uh, it's easy for these things to get out of control, particularly if you have rogue elements in the government. So we we've got Iran and we've got uh, Russia. We have to make good in our, our pledges to places like Afghanistan, and of course we we have China over the horizon. Uh, Chinese do not want to go to war over Taiwan. But, uh, Danica, they will go to war over Taiwan. They prefer war to diplomacy. I mean, we're going to have to figure out how to back off on that. And, of course, I've argued for for years now that that is a settled issue. If we want to relitigate it, we can. But uh, I doubt we're going to win that one, mainly because we couldn't win a war in the Taiwan Strait. I mean, I think the Seventh Fleet would be sunk there. So we're going to have to fight them some other time, another place, about some other reason. And if we go to war, I mean, if there is a reason to go to war about China, it's a defense of uh, freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. Those are the great international issues for which the United States stands. So Joe Biden not only has to get himself reelected, that is, he has to get the party comfortable with him running, he has to decide how to deal with the world. And the world is uh, creeping up on him. Uh, Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea. He's got a lot on his plate, mainly because he ignored half of that in, in, in 2022. In mm. 2023, Danica, he can't ignore any of that.